mood for a dance this weekend. And what perfect place to do this and none other at the Toronto Fall Home Show that's happening all weekend long. Leanne, tell me a little bit about Hula La and what you do here because how you transform this trailer is beyond me. Well, this was a little passion project that I took on in the summer. I actually found the trailer on Kijiji and I've always been an upcycler and DIYer, but this was absolutely the biggest upcycle project I ever no tackled. No kidding. This is amazing. Oh, thank you. It's really filled my passion for supporting the secondhand economy and supporting local. Mm -hmm. um, I sell a lot of items from local artisans and makers as well as a lot of fair trade organizations. And I've got some of my own Kijiji finds and items that I've upcycled as well that so are tucked within the space. Things inspire us. Tell us some of the things that we can upcycle that maybe not everyone would think of doing. So there's a lot of furniture pieces, small furniture pieces mm. that really sometimes just need a coat of paint on yeah. them and we actually have an incredible artist um, Ediko Harvath coming this weekend and she's daily going to be doing upcycling tutorials showing homeowners how oh, they can cool. paint their own pieces and she's a true artist so she takes yeah. it to the next level very inspiring but that's what's great about the home show too is that you can come here and truly be inspired by people like yourself um, you. all the little things that you can do to kind of really um, change the way your living space is absolutely and what I love about this little shop is the fact that you can really live small and yes. have a business small as well. And for me, because you fact, attach this to your car, I right? do. Like, I take it to the people this instead is fully of waiting. Functioning. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Instead <laughs> of waiting for people to come to me, I can go to the people, and I'll be here all weekend here at the home show, ready to see everybody who's wanting to either upcycle or even get some inspiration for maybe starting their own business. Yeah, maybe in a trailer like this. Like you my never Kijiji know. Vibes. A exactly. business on wheels. Yes, right? I think that's the way of the future. To anyone who's maybe a little bit um, apprehensive about upcycle and doesn't really know where to start, what would right. you say to them? I would say that do some research first, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, if you're using a medium like paint, just remember it's just paint. Yeah. So have some fun with it, and you can always paint over it if it's a smaller furniture piece. But certainly looking online, getting a lot of tips, coming and watching live demonstrations, asking pros. We're right beside the DIY center here. Uh -huh. It's full of amazing professionals that can teach people everything from mitering to spray foam demonstrations. There's cool. everything happening this weekend. So and don't be afraid to try. Yeah, well, not only is it fun to try something new, but it's also you develop this like personal relationship with it and you save money. Exactly. Saving money. We all is want so to good. save money. <laughs> always. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And so supporting the secondhand economy is yeah. also great. If you can DIY and save something from going to the landfill and instead repurpose it or buying something secondhand to repurpose in your own home, mm -hmm. I think makes such a huge difference. We do way too much of that. I'm a victim of it for sure. Just really? Just buy, buy, buy. Fast so, purchases? Yeah. yeah. we need to slow it's easy. down. Slow it down. Enjoy Appreciate it. Exactly. Yes. I'm going to enjoy my home and this sign that I'm going to take with me. <laughs> this is going to be my weekend mantra. More BT when we come back right after the break. <laughs>